Hi everybody and here we are at the door of summer and so I want to celebrate with you with um, a little meditation, an active meditation related to summer and to water, element water. Why element water? Is the solstice, right? The door of summer is the summer solstice and so it's something dedicated to the sun so why we should celebrate with water because according to some traditions and also if we look at the um, astrology we know that the, the door of summer the beginning of summer uh, corresponds to the sign of cancer that is a, a water sign right and if we look at the wheel of the year and uh, the moon cycle the monthly moon cycle um we can see other correspondences so the season summer corresponds uh, to the full moon hmm? well who follows me uh, already know why but we can compare every phase every moon phase at the season so spring fire is the crescent moon the moon that starts to become visible and the summer with all the abundance uh, um, in this in the northern hemisphere now is uh, almost the beginning of summer is uh, corresponds to to water and to the full moon like then um, the fall autumn will correspond to element air and the waning moon and then the winter corresponds to the new moon the dark moon mm. so winter the dark moon earth it's so fascinating to connect to understand all these correspondences follow me and look at past videos and you will find more or just ask question ask a question in the comments okay then let's come back to this celebration the beginning of summer and why we want to celebrate abundance because water the element water is strictly connected to abundance you see our life depend on water we are made of water for very high percentage so I would suggest you before keeping watching just grab some water mm? can be a glass of water can be your bottle can be doesn't matter just have some water with you and uh, keep watching then so think about uh, what is that water creates mm? in our life we have uh, plants we water them and we get fruits mm? so everything related to water can be also related to of course purification cleanings mm? but it's also replenishing it's also uh, something that renew us renews us so what I suggest you is that connect you with your inner water first mm? so think think about waters the running water the flow of waters maybe a river maybe a creek think about the cycle of water you know that rain comes from the water of the oceans and of the seas so the sun and here here we are with the sun hmm? summer solstice the sun you know that uh, the solstice is that moment in which the summer solstice in which the day is much longer than the night it's the longest day time in the year hmm? summer solstice so let's find more connections going on okay but we know that with the the heat coming from the sun then the water can become vapor huh? can rise to the sky and then becoming colder the clouds turn into rain and so this is the cycle of water and it's a cycle that guarantees us uh, life mm? with the rain with the rivers there is some unbalance on our planet mm? so sometimes we have 
too much water sometimes it's too little so let's connect with our inner water and i ask you just imagine water in a form that you like maybe the rain maybe a river maybe the sea a lake by the way this is this is a, a portrait i made it's oil on canvas i paint with my fingers this is a fairy the portrait of a, a fairy a spirit of a lake a beautiful lake in ontario where i lived a couple of years so connect with water in any form you like and start feeling and thinking about your body as a beautiful container of water hmm? you don't need to think uh, anatomically speaking to your liquids but just imagine your maybe your pelvis like a container of uh, water liquids and and then all your body and even if you can your limbs maybe if you are sitting your legs you can just rest your legs but connect your trunk at least and maybe your arms with this feeling of water just move gently so that you can imagine maybe you can float in the water or just move the water inside you just stay in touch with this pleasant sensation okay and then and then let's connect with this feeling of abundance because everything in nature needs water to flourish hmm? animals like plants everything even us right we need water and so think about water like something that can help you experience this feeling of being nourished, nurtured, hmm? something that comes and makes you feel better. Water is connected with the health and wealth. Hmm? So this is a good moment to grab your water and reflect on another important point my meditation are very practical active and practical so just with this gesture and just enjoy enjoy the the sound of water you realize that you need a container for the water in nature in the nature water can flow but if we want to drink water we need a container a sacred container like our body hmm? our body is the sacred container of our experience hmm? of our consciousness so just realize that stay in touch with that hmm? and now imagine that okay i want to collect in the water also the energy of the sun because in these days and you have time hmm? you have time until the 21st june 21st the solstice you have time you can do it every day and you can do it also after the solstice the solstice you don't need hmm? but imagine that okay i can i imagine to collect the the light of the sun the warmth of the sun i can also imagine to um project the light from my inner sun my heart into this water and i can just keep this water close to my heart just a moment and think okay what is that i would like to to see flourishing in my life right now what what is that i want to nurture hmm? what is that i want to see uh flowing in abundance just the feeling of ah, well-being balance harmony just something don't think about things practical material things just focus on a state the state of uh, maybe replenishment or uh, whatever you like that is connected with water and its quality the element hmm? so life health abundance and then just take 
couple of seconds, minutes, just listen to your heartbeat and imagine that you can really collect, mm? like you connect the sunbeams in this water and your intention mm, to, I don't know, shine maybe, or just feel this balance and harmony and you want to make clear that I'm going to drink that. I, I want to, you can breathe out and you can breathe out on your water like I'm breathing out I'm informing myself through the water that this is what I would like to see uh, in my life, this kind of abundance of balance, abundance of uh, trust, abundance of uh, harmony, whatever you like. And you can even move a little bit the water and move gently your body and then finally you can drink the water so take a moment take a moment to come back to this feeling to reconnect to your heart to reconnect to the inner water and the water in your glass and then drink the water and feel it stay in touch with the feeling when you drink Mm, aware of the fact that you you've given something to yourself hmm? it's part of nature how many times you drink during the day you drink water tea maybe what some, something else doesn't matter it's a liquid drink water sometimes because other things tea I love tea you know I love tea tea coffee those are um, not just water there is something else inside so we need sometimes we need just the water to re reconnect to nature so just be aware of this gift hmm? it's a gift you gifted yourself with be aware of this and open your door to the summer open your door to abundance open your door to harmony and balance. Thank you.